If we don't talk to strangers on a daily basis, we can forget like becoming successful because it's all about relationships. Okay, we were strangers three days ago, but like now we are a family, okay? But that's what we have to do with our clients. We attract them, but we don't have to see them as clients that we, they will buy your uh, programs. They are people, first of all, they will become friends and then they will become, yeah, your client, of course, but you need to speak to strangers to build a network of people. This is what uh, we are going to talk about phone sales team, like what do we do as high trained professionals, okay, like starting from me and other people of the team. Like what's the difference between a closer and salesperson? It's similar, but the traditional salesperson, I don't know, if I tell you like uh, what's a salesperson for you, what's coming in your mind? No, negative or positive? Salesperson. Negative. Yeah. Basically, because someone pushing you, they pitch this, they they, money. yeah, and you cannot say no. I have to say yes, buy everything. So basically, it's not. It should not be like that. As we said before, what's better than receiving high commissions is having someone to close this for you. So once the the sale is done, you will receive the commission because before you have done some work, you have promote ads. I mean, something that you will, I mean, you will deserve but we will help to do that. And then promoting your events. Exactly, what do we do like as high trained professional and over the phone? The minute we get on a phone call, we have to understand and to put our prospect on a grading, interest grading scale from one to 10. What does it mean? From like one to five, they have low needs. They might have seen your ads uh, of the $37 affiliate formula, but they might not be so interested, okay? They have low needs. Our duty is to bring them to a 9-10, okay? So they will be a 6-8, they have some interest, they, okay, yeah, let me, what is this Affiliify program? What is it about? And then 9-10 to 10 is exactly the moment when we can tell them the price. Okay, the $37 is low product, but then we will start selling something like 1,000, 3,000, 10,000 like programs. And it will be harder because in us, we, we have difficulties in like asking people money, don't we? You have to like 10K. How do we even say that? <laughs> we have to make sure they are in a nine to 10 interest, okay? So if they, as you see, if they are, are not are like low, below five interest, we have to use some reverse psychology. And this works brilliantly because it's, you don't have to say something directly, you have to say the opposite. For example, like I have some example, you wouldn't consider changing companies and other affiliate program companies just to save 10%, would you? Or you don't want to start right now, do you? It's just the opposite. They will say, well, actually, yes, I want to start now. Why? Maybe now or maybe not. It's something in our mind that works at the opposite. They will reflect. You just lead them to reflect on the problems okay or you you might not be the right fit for this program and they say why not <laughs> maybe they are really interested in affiliate marketing but they are scared of something one of the biggest fear of people do you know which is it the biggest fear of the human being fear of failure or rejection public speaking also that's what I heard but there's another fear is the fear of the unknown what you don't know I don't know if it will work for me why should I do that is the fear of the unknown. If we knew everything, it would be easier. We know I get that results, why don't I do it? So it's the fear of the unknown. It's something very profound. So as I was telling you before, what's the difference between a high ticket closer? Or like, because closing actually is everywhere. It's not only in sales, in mar marketing, it's even in the relationships. You have to understand the other person. We have to like maintain calm, authenticity. We have to really understand them with intention. And like we don't have to push futures because we don't have to sell the service itself. We sell like emotions behind it. And we don't even have to use traditional sales tricks, techniques. It doesn't work because otherwise they feel cheated and they will uh, say thank you, bye, and they will not come.
come to us anymore. <laughs> Just listen carefully because people need to be listened and not to be sold. Because we hate being sold. Even though we like buying, we hate to be sold. 